Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. We're out for another ride, a bit of a riverbed here type trail on the Beta Cross Trainer, and we are gonna be out for a good day of fun, so come along for the ride. All right, so we are out with the old man. This is a techie trail here. We dropped the tire pressure way down in the rear. Now it feels hella grippy. Got quite the hill climb. We have a massive hill climb ahead of us here. Let's see how this does. Our street legal dirt bike. And it did it all right. We also did just change the uh, the float height on the bike and man it runs so much better so much smoother quite honestly i was pretty surprised at how much of a difference it made just from changing that float height i never thought it would actually make any difference whatsoever let alone actually have something that you could feel in, in the riding characteristics of the power band don't stop Woo! put it back into power mode My focus is really trying to minimize cramping. Which is uh not exactly working because my hands are cramped already. You guys will see in the uh, next video coming out that I finally figured out what was attributing to such bad hand cramping and how we're able to finally fix it. And this is not good change the way that we're able to ride this bike and be a lot more comfortable on it. So that was an absolute game changer once we figured out what we needed to change. Okay, okay, okay. Because at this moment in time, we, uh, we're already only a few minutes into the ride and we're still already just struggling with holding on to the bike. Those are huge nuggets. for another one of those rides and just get out get some fresh air get some sunlight get some outdoors in the blood flow you know just get on the bike go out for a ride go have some fun and that is exactly what we're doing here oh boy here we go again this trail here is what we call the five miles of hell trail it is just this one riverbed and it just climbs and climbs and climbs and uh, you don't really get much for brakes on this one, and it's uh, it's a lot of a lot of jarring rock. Oh, that sucked.
will absolutely test your uh, your ability to balance and uh, stay in control of the bike because it is just shaking you and jiggling you all over the place. This uh, Beta Cross trainer here makes quick work of all the technical trails and makes it up there no problem. Now we're up and on to the next piece. Now that we've changed the carb bowl float height, the bike definitely seems a lot happier. It seems like we'd still adjust it a little bit more. We had it set at seven and a half mil from factors at six mil. And people were saying to put it between seven to eight mil, and we put it at seven and a half mil. But maybe we'll go all the way out to eight mil. And uh, what we're doing is we're trying to stop the fuel overflow leakage because it's just dumping your gas out and then you're running out of fuel and it's part of why you have terrible fuel mileage, right? You're not getting good mileage if half sit on the ground. Look how crazy that is, just covered in pinky purple flowers everywhere. That's crazy looking. Now we'll go ahead and we'll test the beta here on this uh, juicy little hill climb that we got. switch it up we're gonna try a little bit of higher speed stuff and uh, see how the bike works uh, when we're opening up a little bit more uh, okay a little bit of sections it's kind of like whoops little like tight little knickknack boom bang left rights all over the places this place is a lot of fun especially now having a bit more power compared to that bbr klx we had prior oh we are having we are having a blast out here
know that's a big one. starting to feel like a lot more comfortable on the bike and it's like acting a lot more playful with it and it's just a lot of fun when you get into that like bouncy jump around mood and just having fun playing with it Good fun. Now we're going to dip into a bit more of a tighter trail here. confidence with these tires right now it's incredible how changing just an extra couple psi on the tire world of difference makes all the difference suspension this power this no dude tire pressure that's the secret sauce man this tire pressure it's much much more grip even though we're still sliding out everywhere much more grip
is across the finish line.